Brandon James Sim with the Pendance Film Festival. I'm here with fellow Toronto Tonian. He's originally from Greece. He moved here about uh, what 15 years ago. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I I'm sure you're missing the Mediterranean weather right now. Oh man, it's so cold right now. All my friends in Athens are like, dude, you're missing now. I'm like, I know, I know, I know, I know. Well, you gotta, you gotta make films and you gotta be here hey, to support them. you know them. what? You gotta do what you gotta do, man. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Work, 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 work. Like Rihanna. Work, 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 work. work. <laughs> <laughs> 2G, my friend. So, your film is called Fake News. I mean, how relevant is this film right now? It is, man. It is. You know, especially right now with the Me Too movement, you know, it deals with racism. Sexism and um, sort of like abuse of power and just creating fear, you know, like that old fake news. That's what he deals with. Strong movie, man. Yeah, do you feel that um, with fake news and everything and all the all the issues that we're dealing with, I feel like the reason why we're making these is to maybe showcase that uh, that we're closer than than the powers that be try and make us feel. Absolutely, man. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I don't want to talk about Trump, but, <laughs> you know, I don't want to make it political. Well, well your film is called but Big News. At the same time, you know, there's so many stuff going on right now, so many fake news, and sometimes it's hard to, like, soar through it and see what's real, what's not, and that's what it is, man. That's why, you know, we made this movie to, to get people to think about what's really going on, you know what I mean? Like, whatever you hear in the news, Whatever you see is not always the truth. You know what I mean? There's always another side to it, right? So sometimes you just gotta think, sort through what's right, what's not. Yeah, that's what it's about, man. That's what it's about. Critical thinking, thinking for yourself. These are things that uh, I feel personally that society is starting to lack. Um, do you wanna maybe shed some light on your director and uh, maybe what he wanted to accomplish by making this film and what it was like working with him? I mean, the movie is called Fake News, and it's directed by Dimitris Katsimidis. And Dimitri is one of like one of those directors that I was so glad to work with him, because it's really socially conscious. His movies are always like thought-provoking, and um, he doesn't take his work lightly. And I mean, it's, uh, it's straight to the point, guy. He likes to get the job done, and he has like, he has like this unique vision that he, he tries to accomplish. And I feel like with this movie, we did it. You know, we did it. It's a really, really, really good director. He's won like a lot of awards all over in Egypt, in the States, uh, in Greece, all over. It's one of a kind. One of a kind. It's, I was so happy to, to be in this movie with him because it's one of those guys that like. I look up to him, you know, and I respect him. His work is always, like, every time I see his movie, it makes you think. You know what I mean? And that's what I, I feel like that's an element that's missing from, like, movies these days. The ability just to make you sit and be like, wow, what, what did I just see? What did I just watch? And that's what it's all about. Dance, uh, a lot of the films are not um, everything is entertaining but uh, entertainment is great but we also try and provoke change and provoke thought now with this film and, and the uh, the content uh, how close to home did this hit for you did you uh, did it open up any wounds or w did you did you find that your process through this film was it was an easy ride or was it a difficult one it was easy and at the same time it was uh, it was hard because um, I was able to relate to the character, you know, and when I read the script, I was able to see a little bit of myself in it, because I mean, like I said, it deals with uh, racism, and it deals with sexism, and um, as a black man, I, you know, I, I've had my share of racism, so it was kind of like, you know, it was close to home, it was close to home, and I was able to like, through my experiences and I was able to like bring the best my best self to the movie yeah it was intense 
Yeah. Yeah. 2G, thank you so much for sharing. Uh, you know, in acting, they always say it's making the private public. So thank you so much for being so brave and taking on this role and sharing with us here at Penn Dance. Fake news at the Penn Dance Film Festival. I'm Brandon James Simp. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you for your time, It's a man. pleasure. Thank you for your time. Oh, my pleasure, sir. By the way, man, lovely hair, man. <laughs> Look like a Greek spot. <laughs> He's going to be my co-host for the rest of the night.